Yeah, but uh, another story that I saw, well, funny stat. Did you guys see uh, the stat of the most women will, like 45% of women will be single and childless by 2030. What do you think about that? So to me, it, it's a funny stat because I've always known there to be more women than there is men mm -hmm. in the world, right? Which that means there would be, what, just as many men single if there's 45% women are single? Isn't it a bad thing both ways? Um, well, it's bad for the population. Yeah. For sure bad for the population. A lot of people were like, okay with just having two kids now. And back then, like, two kids was like, you're young and you're just getting started. Yeah. Uh, back then, <laughs> like, my mom has, like, eight siblings. Or I think it's eight of them in total. A lot of our siblings are, like, one to eight or one to 13, somewhere in between. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm going to have to stick it in overdrive, bro, like, <laughs> real soon, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, but, like, what do you think is the cause of the stat? 45% of media. women... So single social media what about social media you think it's the standards that social media gives these women you think it's a standard that social media gives the men that i think it's a little bit of both because okay. everyone like i think we spoke about this on like two episodes or maybe last episode about um people just seeing that there's more out there there's more options out there and not even options because <laughs> that person's on like the other side of the fucking globe, maybe like a hundred miles away or something that you might never run into and shit. But the fact that they, that they now exist somewhere in your subconscious, you kind of feel like there's more out there for you to, you know what I mean? Okay. As so, opposed to back then when our parents, like I said, we used to be in one city and we'd be like, Oh, that's, that's the person I like. Knew. Yeah. The yeah. most, like I know for my, like, no, it's not how my parents met, but at least for my dad, how it was is like you usually married someone over in the next city over, and that's as far as it usually went. Like, yeah, like yeah. you said, now it's like you can meet someone in fucking Japan, and if you want, you could be like, well, fuck it, I'm gonna drop everything and go to Japan and meet her. Back then, it was just whoever the fuck you knew in your little city, or maybe at most a city over. Yeah, yeah. So is that why women are? Um gonna be I, single i think that i think that has to be like 80 percent of it uh yeah. i think the other 20 is like the economy okay okay that's but what i think but childless okay do you think childless yeah but you know what they there's say there's a lot of single people that, okay that we, have kids what, okay. where does that the childless yeah, come but, from but you this know is, this true. is this is a chain reaction right because i think um they're saying that like this what are we millennials whatever the fuck they're saying that like our generation we didn't have the same opportunity as like the people from the generation before to where everything's cheaper to buy, cheaper to rent. It's more economical, you know what I mean? Yeah. And now we don't really have that. So like we don't have those, um, like let's say back then in the sixties or the seventies, even like my uncle bought a house somewhere in the city and now it's worth like a million dollars. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that was only like 30 years ago. You feel me? So like, this generation now, like the market is up for everything. And so I think that also takes it a toll. So my point being is that we never come across these, like we didn't get to buy the house cause like the market's up and like we didn't get to do this. And, and so that kind of keeps us at the level of like just post graduation, post school, like everyone is on the same wave. And like these um things that we used to do before to like, kind of like a checkpoint, we don't have that anymore. Now it's just like, that's what it is. You know what I mean? Like now you don't have the checkpoint to where like, okay, well you start your career and then you have your kids. It's like, well, people are going to school and they're not finding jobs. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. And they're having kids. And they're having, you know, so it's like, I think it's a little chain reaction. I think it has to do with a lot of things, but I think social media is one of the biggest ones. I but, really do think so. But to me, like we said standards, right? Do you think the, the men's standards are getting risen with social media too? Like I don't think so. Because, because I don't um, no, I I don't think so. So you because think guys it's fully fuck, on the woman? I think guys will fuck anything that walks. <laughs> <laughs> but like, really okay, think you don't that. think like it has nothing like because, uh, I mean, if you like, I guess not really, right? I mean, this is what it is, girls, and I don't even want to sound like a misogynist, you know. But you go on the internet, right? You could do, there's just too much to like compare and contrast. You go on, you, you refresh your feed. This chick over here got this. You refresh it. This chick over here got that. You refresh it again. This chick got this. 
And then you slowly and slowly you start comparing your relationships to someone else's. And now you're thinking, hmm, could this be better? Maybe it can. But you're like, I don't know. I think I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is like 80% of it. Yeah, I, yeah. I see the point that you're uh, saying. Um, Laz, your question was like, they're why childless though, right? Yeah. So I think some women just want to. They've risen their standards that high. Yeah, no, or not just that. Maybe they just want to focus on their career. They have like, they don't see it. They, they just like how kind of guys do, girls like want to be like, okay, I want to make my own money. I want to be my own boss. Boom, boom, boom. That's kind of like a motivational thing, yeah. right? That somebody goes through. So, so with maybe that they goes just a lot focus. of relationships then. And I think, oh, oh go ahead, go ahead. Um, well, yeah. Well, my point was just that maybe they just focus on that goal. Yeah. And, I, yeah. and then by the, by 2030, like there's going to be a lot of, yeah. Well, a lot more people focus like on that and, rather than having right, kids and right, having responsibility. Right. right. And I, and I also think it's also because like you women are less fertile, like after a certain age, I think, yeah. I think after 35, it's kind of like your odds start getting pretty slim. Um, <clears throat> so with that being said, you're in your twenties and you're seeing this narrative where it's like, um, we spoke about it, like fuck it up, sis, you know, like, yeah, I think that plays a real big part. Um, Childless, childless, childless. What was I about to say? She said, Drake says she's a timber. Her music's only good on mute. <laughs> childless, too. That's interesting. Damn it. I had a thought and, and it skipped my head. Um, what well, can I. That, that's my reasoning. If, if they just want to focus on like making money, okay, so or getting a career, or what, whatever. This might like. It's a bad thing. Oh. Yeah, right? Because we're not. Okay, go real quick before. Okay. <laughs> Does this have anything to do? I, I think it has everything also to do with like Americans, like Western, like the tradition here is Western. Like it's, there's a feminist movement going on. The girls want to be the boss. Yeah. Um. So they don't really, they're on the, I don't need a man type wave, you know? Yeah. And this is, comes from like, my mom has told me this, like, like my mom was a single mother and she would always be like, oh, well, I don't need a man because she really didn't need one. Like whatever we needed, she would ha she would get it done herself. And that's yeah. the type of wave she was on as like a single mother or whatever. So I think that exists in different like extremities. You know what I mean? Like I think there's some people who take that to the next level, you know, like why do I need a man for like, yeah. And Before I think they have, and then, they're already on that mindset. And, like, I don't and need that. who knows? Yeah. I'm not a woman and I don't know how they think, but I think at a point you kind of like, oh wait, well maybe I do need a man, you know what I mean? Because, because in this, Americans, Western, you think about other places in the world, like, let's say even like Mexico, it's more traditional, you know, yeah. like everyone plays their role. And I think men and women have to coexist and do their own. I think they're equally as important, but in their own role that they play, you know what I mean? I think there's definitely a dynamic that exists in order for like, you know, people to start fucking having babies and shit. And I think in America, it's, it's not like that. There's a different narrative here. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, a lot of those... Bitches that are like, I don't need a man. Like, how would you even know? You don't even give it a chance. Like, a lot of them are it's always. There's too many options. There's too many options. You post a story of selfie or whatever, then congrats. You got like 10 motherfuckers liking your shit. Now you got 10 options. Now you sort out three and then pick one. It's 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 a lot. There's a lot going on. I'm telling you, bro. Guys are fucking fucking up the game. The guys fuck it up for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's an ecosystem that's going on here, bro. I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're right. You're not wrong, but there's just, a few listeners right here. There's, there's, there's going to be a few listeners that be like, oh, damn it. Yeah, he caught me. <laughs> like, hey, don't get me wrong. I'd be swiping up on some stories too, but I'm just saying like we're fucking up the ecosystem. Yeah, but yeah. there's, okay. So back to my points. One, this might, this is a bad thing because obviously we're not reproducing, right? Yeah. But two, there's a, there's a big problem coming our way with the whole baby boomer shit, right? Where like most of our social security is gonna be gone because there's there was a time and in, in period in time where like there was a bunch of fucking babies like born and like one of the situations that America is about to go through is that a lot of those people are about to reach that age where their social security hits mm -hmm. and we don't have enough money to like give to pay them all out oh, like that all of them. because oh, okay, there's a okay. shit ton of them. Yeah, okay. But this might be like a self-correction here because if there's this many women that aren't having kids, like maybe it'll self-correct, right? So you're saying maybe it's a good thing. It might be the only good thing that comes from it for uh, the country. 
I don't know about that. I don't know about that one. Chief. I don't know what, like, what would happen? <laughs> okay, I'm trying the, to have a few. You in know? the large, okay, in the lar- like, no, you should have in a the few. greater aspect in, of things. Okay, yeah, looking outside, if America doesn't reproduce babies, we're fucked. Who's gonna next? fight for America? There's not gonna be enough of which us. is why I say there's a bigger there's agenda and there's gonna be in more America. people in other parts of the country. Like so we can get is, taken over quick. There's already a bunch of people in the like. China outpopulates us, I'm yeah, pretty sure. Yeah. Th- this shit sounds like a psyop. Like, all this shit. <sighs> I'm not going to sound like a misogynist. But the f- women empowerment thing sounds like a psyop. I don't know it's what a- that word means. <laughs> it sounds like a, like it's something that... <sighs> like a, a cyber a, operation? No, psy- I know what a cyclops is. Psy-op? Psychological operation. Oh, psychological. Okay, oh, okay. okay. So... Are you with the feds? The, the CIA thing. It's what they do. They This is how they fucking tear down... Um, uh, what is it? Countries and what's another thing? What's the other word that they use? And this is how they take down countries, bro. They do shit like this from the within. And this okay. is why I, sometimes I think about that. You know what I mean? How much of this shit is really real? Have you guys ever seen the, uh, when Kevin Samuels, RIP, you know, Kevin Samuels, yeah. he would have girls on there that'd be like, okay, tell me your expectations. And then they'd be like single mothers with like three kids or whatever. And they'd be like, oh, I want a man that makes this much. This, he's this tall, whatever. And then he puts it in the little calculator based on like the work state and and it's yeah, like yeah. well your chance of finding this man is like 0.1 percent like <laughs> yeah a lot of this shit is delusional <laughs> right. a lot of this shit yeah you know and that was like his biggest thing and that was why biggest thing women like, hated him yeah, yeah people aren't real like to themselves and especially in this world like i don't know I but think, he, to me he was funny because he did it both ways like yeah he told the guys I, too he's like bro you fucking fat like, oh you showed us the clip yeah, right yeah, <laughs> yeah fucking yeah. fat dog like full get get off your off your ass or, like work out do something you know like try to get more money like why why don't, why don't you have a second job if you don't have enough money like shit like that you know like yeah so I think it does I mean I don't think girls want to date a bum either you know what I mean like yeah, no of course sure. not no yeah. one wants to yeah. no one wants it, it goes, to date a bum it goes both ways guys don't want a bummy chick girls don't want a bummy you know you get you get what I mean so I think there's a lot of that and then you compare and contrast every time you fucking refresh your feed and then or you go on Tinder and Bumble and then you're like, oh damn, there's this girl, but there's this girl I like over here that likes me, but there's yeah. these girls over here. Uh, uh, yeah. And I think that goes both ways for both parties. But that's yeah. just me making the, uh, a fair analysis, I guess you could say. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Was Andrew Tate right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't, make me, don't make me Don't make me hit the drop oh, bro I'll fucking shit, hit oh, it shit. Don't make me hit it bro <laughs> So anyway uh, 